going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we have actually a heads up for you to just go ahead and save your iOS 10.3.2 and 10.3.1 blobs if you did not already. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because WWDC 17 event is coming and it's on actually June 5. So this means next week. This is definitely important because it's going to drop also the iOS 11 beta 1 and iOS 10.3.3 is most likely going to be dropped before the event begins. So this means that iOS 10.3.1 might be in danger. As you can see here, and we discussed about this in uh, yesterday's video about the uh, event, if you want to learn more about iOS 11 and the event, the video is going to be in the description. But as you can see from here, the iOS 10.3.1 and 10.3.2 are currently signed. If you you're um, a regular viewer of this channel, you probably know I make quite a few videos on how to save those blobs using different tools and using um, either the computer or Windows or a Mac or the device itself, the iPhone itself and so on. So you have a lot of videos you can check out on my channel on how to save those blobs. But if you're new to this channel, which uh, you probably are if you're watching this video, then it's definitely important to go ahead and save your blobs for iOS 10.3.1 especially, but also for 10.3.2. You never know. But the iOS 10.3.1, probably most of you know uh, why it's important to save its blobs. You probably remember Pangu has demoed a jailbreak that was working on iPhone 7 for iOS 10.3.1 and presumably it was working on iOS um, 10.3 as well on other devices, but we do not know. It was a demo in which they have shown an iPhone 7. You probably remember about that and if you do not have the blobs for 10.3.1, you won't be able to downgrade in the future. Also, as you remember, Adam Donenfield has uh, said that he's going to release an exploit in the summer, which is a kernel exploit that is for privileged escalation. It might also help downgrades in the future, so keep that in mind, save your blobs, right now because once iOS 10.3.3 gets finally released next week iOS 10.3.1 is most likely going to get unsigned. As I said in yesterday's video, this is very uncomfortable for Apple because it's a, a firmware that has been jailbroken already. Even if Tango did not release yet, Apple does know about the fact that they did jailbreak it and therefore they're most likely not going to keep it signed. Would be of course very good if they do, but it's most likely not going to happen. So go ahead and save it now. For those who are new, TSS Saver created by Juan Conan, this website in here, allows you to put your hex, uh, your hex or decimal ACID. You can get it from uh, iTunes of your device. Select your device correctly in here. Select uh, the, uh, the type. Check this one out and you're going to save your blobs on any device, being it the computer. You can also access this website on the, on the device if you want. You don't need to fiddle with, uh, with Ticketbox if you don't want to or if you're on Windows. You don't need to fiddle with the, um, the, the TSS Checker application, which is command line. Just go ahead here on TSS Saver by uh, one Conan and save your blobs right now if you did not already. This is probably the last warning that I give you before the WWDC. We do not know what's going to happen with 10.3.1, but WWDC probably is going to change uh, a lot of things in the signature window, which means iOS 10.3.1 might be unsigned. And 10.3.3 um, and 10.3.2 might remain the signed versions for a long time. Keep that in mind, go ahead and save your blobs now. You have the tutorials in the description down below, more advanced tutorials, and also about the WWDC. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out.